Hiya. So on Friday, um, I went live with the gorgeous Gemma Shepherd, and as we were chatting, I was we were kind of chatting about life, styling, the show, ten years younger, and um, that we're both working on, and. I kind of coached her through her makeup and I did my own and lots of you want that red lip look so I'm going to do it for you quickly now um I'm going to start with a bit of CeraVe hydrating I never get it right facial moisturizing lotion just to hydrate that top layer of skin and then I'm going to apply a bit of because I did on the video the by Terry Hyaluronic hydra primer um just because it continues to hydrate the skin and helps to blur the appearance of any imperfections including kind of things like pores and fine lines um yeah i was really surprised i wonder if uh we're feeling a bit done with autumn winter and we're ready to step into summer makeup Ciate extraordinary foundation in buff i actually don't remember what foundation um i used was it this it was definitely it was a squeezy tube and i love this stuff <laughs> so that's what i'm gonna use this is in the shade buff and i'm just using my fingers because it is quick and easy and does the job and i tell you what when working from home i definitely want to feel polished look my best excuse me got it all over my lips there but um with my two little ones i don't <laughs> i don't have a load of time so quick and speedy bodes well in the martin household nice base and um, a bit of urban decay stay naked concealer particularly like this because it's not too dry I know I've said that before but um I've got a couple that are possibly slightly more coverage but the more coverage you aim for quite often the drier the finished texture is so I'm just loving this right now just using my ring finger to dab that in find it's kind of the easiest way but you could always use uh in a pot on my desk I've got the Zoeva concealer buffing brush it's called and that is excellent for blending out concealer um I am gonna use oh where's that lovely brush do you love this brush no I'm not gonna use do you know what I was going to say, I'm going to use the Chanel Soleil de Town. Then someone said, Hannah, it's been discontinued. And I was like, oh, that's why I couldn't find it in stock anywhere. Urban Decay, um, Stay Naked, the Fix Powder. But I went on the website literally a moment ago. And it's still on the website. Uh, so I wonder if maybe the name's changed. Nice. Um... But as far as I'm aware, having checked the website, it's not discontinued. That lovely big old creamy Chanel bronzer. So instead, I'm going to use the beached bronzer again by Urban Decay. In fact, moments before I came upstairs to film this look, my friend Amelia, who I would say we were getting into kind of proper makeup around about the same time in fact I still remember it's one of those kind of makeup moments or makeup defining moments it must have been probably the year 2000 we were 18 and she went to Mac at Jolly's in Bath and they contoured her nose and oh my goodness whole new levels <laughs> of excitement or experience and she was like Han you'll never believe it they did this amazing thing where they put bronzer down the side of my nose and I look like a different person and oh my goodness and that although that was what 2000 20 years ago now it was my first like realization that contouring 
was a thing. Um, I did with Gemma a little bit of my Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. This is the original. And I've got the darker one as well. Um, and I just did a slightly stronger contour that I, nice, that I, obviously we talked a bit about blending and making sure your contour isn't stripey. Then I did some of the highlight, same brush, just over the top of my cheeks and across my nose. And I think that's where I got most of that glow from in the video, just buff a bit on my brow bone. Then I used my Dim Infusion Blush by Hourglass. If you follow me for a while, you'll know that is a long, hang on, just trying to move the light. It's a long standing favourite of mine. Not too strong, not too pink, not too brown. Just a lovely everyday shade. Okay, then for brows, I just did Brow Build by Blink Brow Bar London. I've just noticed I was panicking about the Chanel bronzer. It's right in front of me. Anyway, um, and I love the Brow Build. First of all, because it's got a new tip. Look at that. Vanita, that was a brilliant move. So she just made the spoolie one that little bit smaller, which gives you more control. And I love it if you're just wanting quick and speedy brow colour, but also a bit of texture. But also, of course, it holds your brows then in place for the day. So I'm just looking off to my mirror because I realise I'm not holding a compact as we speak. I haven't double dipped the spoolie. There's plenty of product on there to do both brows and I'm just brushing through, following the direction of the growth of the hair. Fab. Oh, let's just, there we go. And then eyes. Eyes were super simple and I used the Naked Reloaded palette. Oh my goodness, is this not the palette of dreams? And I'm just gonna, I'm grabbing a MAC 217 and I dipped in between these two shades. So uh, Barely Baked and Angel Fire. And I just swept them all over my lid. And it was these colours on my eyes. Everyone was like, oh my goodness, look how divine. And look how quick and simple that is. So just give a nice sweep over the entire lid. And I just dabbed in between the two. I do love to mix my shadows and then just blended across the lid. If your lids are dry, you might benefit from using a little bit of something like primer potion on your lids first, just to help the colour be even more colour true. Just take a bit of that angel fire up there. Ooh! Nice highlight. Then I did a bit of liner using my Stila 24, 24 hour concealer. Oh, I'll pop the name down below so you can see it properly. I just took that all the way along the lash line and then did a little extension. There we go. And draw back in. Oh, winged liquid liner on the clock. Stress. Let's do the same on the other side. Also, I had the luxury of time with Jem because, my goodness, she loves to have a chat. I think we were live for about an hour. But there we go. little wing there. I then um, double lined. So I took a clean brush 
and then went into this end game colour in the palette and just smoothed over that liquid liner just to make the whole thing look a little bolder being sure to smudge the edge for a kind of smoky look so just taking that I'm not trying to smudge the liquid liner in fact that's well and truly dry by now I'm just softening its edge with that end game shadow okay mascara where's my curlers right here we're almost on 11 minutes crumbs instagram please let me post this bit of lash curling oh i can hear bobo downstairs she's doing so well isolation is not easy for little ones and i just heard her saying to daddy i want to go soft play sorry babes no chance of that okay so um urban decay perversion mascara loving this i must admit it's a brand new one well i've been using it for about a week and you can't beat new mascara can you for satisfaction i promise when i'm kind of you know out out doing out out makeup or i've got time i can spend up to five minutes just doing mascara but in cases like this when i really need to get it done as quickly as possible i love this for achieving good volume good length in not a lot of time let me do my lower lashes as well just tease with the very tip of that mascara wand the same on the other side and then we're coming to the pièce de résistance and that is oh oh there's an eyelash sticking down do you ever get that sometimes this flame <clears throat> lippy by bobby brown And there we have it in 13 minutes. So a bit longer than usual, but 13 minutes to bronzed, glowy skin, a smudged out winged liner and a bold lip. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks to all of you who requested a video of this look. Take care, have a great day, stay well and stay home.